Hi everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrappin'. I'm here to show you a finished project. This is for a swap I'm doing with my good friend Rebecca, who's in the UK, and her YouTube channel is crafts.cupcake. So make sure to check her out, she's got some great tutorials. Um, so anyway, we've really come to know each other and realized that both of our birthdays are in June. So we decided to do a birthday swap. So in the swap, we decided to go with a vintage theme and to make each other something that could be anything, and it's a surprise, so she doesn't know that I made her this. And, um, and also to do some shopping and throw in some goodies into the package. So Rebecca, I really hope you like this. Um, by the time everybody sees this video, you would have received it. So I'm going to do my best to go through and explain what I've done. So this is an altered, my very first altered project. It's an altered wood purse from Michaels. And the paper collection that I used for this was the um, Bow Bunny Gabrielle collection because it's one of my favorites. And um, I bought some coordinating lace and trim and it came with the pearl trim here um, from Bow Bunny. And so I put that on there and then I also put some brown ribbon and some um, kind of the orange sort of a tone bling and then also layered it with a little bit of um, this brown fiber that I had. This um, butterfly here also came with this trim collection from Bow Bunny. I just trimmed it really nicely. It had a white border and um, I bent it a little bit and put a lot of beauty on there. And then I also put um, around the center and around the edges some Studio G um, glitter glue in a copper color. And then I made these little wire antennas. Um, this bling here is from uh, Recollections and I added the orange bling to it. And um, what I did with the box, I actually covered it with espresso brown um, acrylic paint and then I put two layers of that folk art crackle medium. I put two layers really thick because I figured it might really soak up into the wood and uh, not give a really good crackle effect. So I put two layers and it turned out really good when I put the antique white over top. And then I distressed the edges with a uh, walnut stain uh, by Tim Holtz. So mo all the distressing that you're going to see is with the walnut stain. Um, and then this little frame here is actually from uh, Mary Guma56 on YouTube um, from a swap that we recently did and I just love it and when I got it I was like that's perfect for this project because it's the antique gold look and that's kind of the color of the metal that I'm using in this project. So uh, what I did was I put a magnet on the back and some metal here and it just magnetizes to there. So what Rebecca, what you can do is you just take out this little brad and um, this piece swivels out and you can put, I put acetate there um, so you can put a picture behind there of whatever you like or you can keep the butterfly in there. Um, but yeah, so the option's yours and then once you really like what's in there you can permanently glue it down there if you like. I just wanted to make sure that you could take it off easily and put a picture in there if you like. So um, I also made a stick pin here, one of my first stick pins. I had lots of fun doing that. Um, I made this paper rose, a little mini paper rose, and glimmer misted it with um, Rusty Hinge Distress Ink. I made this flower also, and it's using organza, and uh, put um, Bow Bunny Brad in there, and this is an artificial flower that I took apart, and I glimmer misted um, Pine Needles Distress Ink and Perfect Pearls, and I actually melted the edges, and it turned out really cool because it kind of curled up a lot, and it gave it more like more texture to it, so I really liked how that turned out. And then I put a lost and found brad in there by my mind's eye. And then I added some feathers and put more of that um, beaded um, pearl trim there. And uh, let's see, and this was a chipboard piece that came with the Gabrielle Bow Bunny collection and it says, you're beautiful. And, um, and then I added um, some of that lace up here and just tied it into a bow and then put a little locket which opens up and you can put whatever you want in there as well, Rebecca. And let's see, did I cover everything on there? And then the back is just some paper I left plain um, because most likely the purse is going to be down like this anyway, so I didn't want to make it too bulky. So now let's get into the inside and see what I made. Oh, I forgot to mention all of these metal pieces here too. I took off and I used alcohol ink to sort of make it more antique-ish looking because it was really bright, sort of a tacky gold. So I wanted it to be more antique. So I kind of used some alcohol ink on that. And I really like how that turned out. So now when you open it up, you're going to see a cushion I made. I had so much fun. I sewed, oh my goodness, can you believe it? Um, I sewed uh, this little cushion and stuffed it. And I made these little buttons. Um, they were just wood um, buttons. And I just covered it with some 
of this material, which is a brown suede material, and sewed it on there, and then put some ribbon in there to make sort of that pattern. And then I um, lined it with some fibers. And then now, this is my second mini that I've ever made. My goodness, I'm just loving making minis now. They're so much fun. So let me just move this over here. So this mini was actually made using the paper bag technique. And I use these small paper bags from Michaels, the Celebrate It brand, and they are three and a half by two by three, or six and three quarter inch size. And I actually had to trim quite a bit in order for it to actually fit into this purse. And then I covered the front and back cover with chipboard. Um, and then covered it with the designer bow bunny paper as well. Um, so let's see, where should I start? I glossy accented this um, butterfly and added some, again, some wire antennas. Um, the pearls here I think are from Kaiser Crafts. I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure. Kaiser Crafts is the name. Um, I also made another stick pin. This is I Am Rose's uh, Gardenia from Cassie. Thank you so much, Cassie. And I just painted it um, the walnut stain. And I made another paper rose, and that's a walnut stain as well. These two flowers were from the dollar store. Oh my god, they're the wild peonies. And I glimmer misted it, um, pine needles and rusty hinge. Um, and I really like how those turned out. Um, let's see, and then this uh, here is a keyhole that actually came with this frame and this key. Um, and I think it's making memories. And uh, so I put that up there. And um, now going to this, I added this uh, piece of the designer paper, I cut it out and uh, distressed it and put a couple layers of glossy accent on there and stuck it to there. And then with the key, I um, this was quite yellow, so I sort of toned it down and rub and buffed it with some alcohol ink. There's a bit of a blue um, and I buffed it off so then the blue stayed around the edges in the corners. It's really hard to make out on, on this video, sorry guys. And then I buffed it with some earth tone colors too. Um, and then this little butterfly was just a bow bunny butterfly that came with the, this Brad collection. Um, and then it's all on a swivel clasp and connected to a trinket pin that says Elements 46. And then I just hooked, um, I took a, two Adage tickets, one that says Love and one that says Trust because there's lots of love put into this and um, a lot of trust was put into our friendship um, when it came to me doing a... Um, sort of an online, or a, what do you call it? I just helped Rebecca out get some to get some stuff from Joanna and send it to her. So she put a lot of trust in me, actually, to send all this stuff to my address and for me to send it to her. So um, this has some meaning to it. So um, I put it on some chipboard, and I distressed it, some coordinating colors. That's broken china, and I think some maybe rusty hinge, and maybe some walnut in there. And then this is mostly rusty hinge and walnut. And I just layered it and layered it with UD, lots and lots of UD. And UD is ultra thick um, embossing enamel for those who don't know. And um, for the binding, I actually had lots of fun. I put um, a strip of this brown lace on either side and a layer of this fiber like I did on the purse, this uh, brown fiber. And then there's a layer of this orange fiber here and a layer that goes, a strip that goes down here and here. And what I did was I actually took two pieces at a time and tied them into a knot. So it's just two pieces at a time, not at all the way up the side, and that just covered up those the paper bag. It took a lot of time, but I really liked how the, the look came out. And then I just added some bling onto the side. So that is what the cover looks like. And then the back is just some of the bow bunny paper, and uh, I just distressed it with the walnut stain. For the closure, I just kind of hooked um, some jump rings and part of a swivel clasp. And um, and I got this little, what are these called, findings, I think? I can't remember what they're called. And um, anyway, I just did that for the closure so it just comes off easily and then opens up. And now I will get to the inside. So when you flip it open, I did a lot of inking, you guys. All of these tags were shipping tags and I inked them all up. So there's a pocket here and this is just inked up and did some water technique, some stamping, partial stamping, added fibers, and then added some more bling and a flower. Um, here is just like an antique metal um, swirl paper clip, and I just clip this little kind of a booklet sort of a thing, flip book that goes, flips up, and she can put pictures, journaling, whatever she wants in there. And then I put more of that lace and some fibers, and each pocket, each page has um, a pocket where the big tag goes into. 
And again, lots of stamping, inking, lots of different techniques I used. Um, if anybody watches um, Jennifer McGuire, The Thinking Inking, um, I got all of, everything I've learned was from her. It's just amazing. I love that series. So make sure you check it out. So this is just some embossing resisting techniques and inking, all kinds of fun stuff. And some more flowers. All of these flowers are actually dollar store flowers and I inked them up. So in case anybody's wondering, they're great flowers. I can't believe I found them. Um, so there's that page. And then flipping the page, there's this ribbon there I put and another little booklet with a flower. And it says, the air is like a butterfly with frail blue wings. The happy earth looks at the sky and sings. I thought that was really cute. So ink that up and just some more coordinating paper, spots for pictures and journaling. And that just slips right in there. And then another tag. Um, this is like using a mask um, and some perfect pearls and water to get a washed out look. And then I just did some stamping of a frame and some spots for journaling and some ribbon and fibers there. And just added some bling and then we're sort of a pattern I kind of created. And then some more tags fit into this little center flap here. And these again, I um, did a lot of... Uh, this is like a stamped water sort of a technique. You stamp with water on top of the ink and it does this really cool effect. And then I stamped some butterflies with some uh, two tones of color on the uh, stamp. And uh, this is uh, another emboss resist sort of technique. And some ribbon. And this was using a Tim Holtz um, compass mask and some more stamping and a journal stamp. So that's that. And then here I put another strip of some ribbon. Um, sorry guys, I cannot remember the name of the pack of this ribbon. Um, I'll try and find it and post it on the screen. Um, added another flower and then I just um, used my circle punch and punched out some of the designer paper. And made these little tags. Added fibers and ribbons. And another tag. And this one I did using my homemade um, polka dot stamp, border stamp. So if you guys are interested, just watch one of my tutorials on uh, the homemade foam stamps. And then I did some partial stamping. And uh, this was actually um, in the paper collection. I cut it out and did a lot of UD on it and distressed it. And same with this one, distressed and UD'd. And then script stamp there. Lots of ink. <laughs> with my distress inks and then the ribbon comes on the other side as well and I just sort of kind of cut out this shape of a ticket sort of a big ticket and did some uh, matting and I did some glossy accent on that butterfly and this is a canvas tag that I just sort of cut into the shape of a tag um, from a big piece of canvas I had and I did a lot of painting with uh, my acrylic paints of coppers and golds and browns and I stamped with some archival black ink, that butterfly, and then I went over it again with some gold acrylic paint to kind of give it sort of a antique look to it so it wasn't so bold. And then the back I just drew on some lines with a sharpie and a ruler, some journaling lines, and then went over it again with a bit of paint to kind of make it look a little bit more faded, not so bold, and added some um, ribbon or some fibers. So that was really fun actually making that tag. And um, here's another tag. Some more stamping, and um, I did a kissed stamp sort of effect. I kissed the uh, script stamp onto the butterfly stamp. Kind of didn't turn out as noticeable, but anyway, that's the technique I used there. And more partial stamping, the script stamp. And this is a little, um, sorry guys, this is a little booklet that I made here. Um, well, sort of a booklet, what do you call it? I made it using these um, coin envelopes from the dollar store I got. Really cute. I love them. You can do so much with them. So I added some Bow Bunny Brads to it for a closure and I um, just took some string that I had um, and and put some beads at the end and it just sort of twirls around. And that's how you close it and so you open it up. And I did a punched flower there to kind of cover how the ribbon was joining. And it just sort of looks like this. So these just, I put some little bling there so it's easy to pull these little tags out. So journaling or pictures, whichever you want, Rebecca. And uh, then another one here. Again, this is, oops, this one must be, oops, I was pulling the wrong thing. Must be caught with a little bit of glue. <laughs> Again, I just finished this, you guys, so. Um, there we go. So that's that. And again, that just closes up with the string. And then some more recollections bling. 
And then I added a few little flowers there. And this is another swirl paper clip. And I just took some designer paper and uh, made these little tags front and back there. And it's got a bow bunny brad in there and it just goes back into there. And then here is another tag that I made. This is using a embossing um, resist technique. And I used another Martha Stewart butterfly there. And another flower and I just added stickles to the edges and some bling in the center. This one actually was a really cool technique I kind of came up with um, as I was playing around. I um, I sprayed my stamp with my homemade glimmer mist of Perfect Pearls and water and then I stamped it onto this um, tag after I dinked it up and it sort of had this really cool effect so you can kind of see the glimmer from that. And then another flower that I kind of put stickles in the center. I tried to keep everything as flat as possible so this book would close. And then going to the next page. Oh, this one I love. I hope you like this one, Rebecca. I know you love dress forms, so I just got a new die from my husband for my birthday, and it's the sewing room die by Tim Holtz, the alterations die. And so I cut out two of the dress forms, and I just cut off the ends because they're way too long. And then I just sort of distressed it and put a flower and a feather on it. And I also put stickles um, as little pearl necklace kind of a thing. Um, so that's what I did with that. So I had so much fun making these. <laughs> I thought about you the entire time, Rebecca. So um, another little flower, and I used the gold stickles there. And some more distressing. And another tag. Um, so more uh, multicolored stamping. And a uh, mask using the crown, Tim Holtz mask. And some water splotching. And just added fibers and ribbon. And then the final one. Um, so this is just another tag using the script and just a bow bunny um, chipboard butterfly and added some fibers. And then another Tim Holtz mask I used for that. So, and then the very end, so you can kind of see where the closure kind of comes through. And uh, yeah, so there, there it is there. So look how flat it is now without all that good stuff in it, hey? <laughs> so there you guys go. There you go, Rebecca. I really hope you like this. Um, yeah, it took a while, but it's done. <laughs> My second mini. Yay! So I hope everybody likes it. If you have any questions, please let me know, and um, I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye now.